up the platform. Called Distance? Yeah. Distance. Huh? It's Platform Arts X Wrestlers Collective. Seriously? But did they really? No, did they really? Professional wrestlers. Oh, yeah, no, it's a professional wrestler. You can see them now. Yeah. It's not. 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 The last time we were in here, it was the Vent Collective. And you see Distance, the ex-wrestlers ex collective, totally changes the space. Artists. These are all. I don't want to touch it. This may be concealing. Like that. And all got things written on. Pressed. Be some cause of anxiety. I like that. I think it's a hammer. Very hard. It's a good thing, but. In a very, made in a very fragile kind of material. Piece of work. Larry. Hello, Larry. Hello, Bruno. Is this the first time you've exhibited in Belfast? Uh, no, I did, I did the MA here, um, so that was, I finished in 2003. So I think I did something in Catalyst that year, um, but since then I haven't showed her. Apart from the, you know, the college exhibition at the end of the year, I mean. Okay. And this is one of your paintings here. Yes. And one of you specifically you'd like to say? Excuse me, pardon. Like yeah, it's it's part of a show I did in the City Gallery, but it was my favourite of the show. Um, it's called the American Dream, and I'm trying. You to were in America for three months. Four months illegally, something <laughs> happened in the pool. It's actually it's Niagara Falls, it's funny you mentioned it. It's Niagara Falls, and um, I went there and spent some time there and became fascinated with motels and all things Americana and road trips, the kind of film references that these places sort of evoke, you know. They're just really nice places to work with. So, That's it. I, I lived in America for a while, and when I went, it was just like, yes, it's that motel. It's those motels. 
but you never quite know what's going on and you see, you've seen them in so many films <laughs> that it's like and then you kind of see them in real life and go oh yeah yeah and, and happened in here yeah. there's a lot of uh, <laughs> prostitution and you know, drug dealing and some of them are used to house homeless people I think as well at this point so they've become kind of quite seedy locations in a way. So the end, yeah I focused on the end, the end of the American dream really, that's what the painting is about I think because that kind of romantic notion I had of America certainly isn't what you get, like I saw Hopper and all the social realist kind of Ashcan painters so that or even Stephen Shore, the photographer, that kind of work, but I think that's a vanishing part of America, really. So it's, it's quite, um, not melancholic, but it's like a tribute to that era. The only thing I did hear, though, is in Palm Springs, um, that they are actually starting to, you know, renovate a lot of these motels, because they've got that retro kind of value again, so they've become boutique motels, so I think there is an interest in them, because they were actually levelling them all at one point. So now it's kind of coming back again to where they're placing value on them. I suppose they're flat, so that isn't great in a commercial sense for developers generally, but I think there are more and more of them being saved. So It's just that very specific blue as well that you get. I know, say, the skies are different in America and in Ireland and or whatever, the light. You know, it is that turquoisey. Blue. Yeah, that was originally uh, much lighter at the top, but I actually brought it back to the same colour as the ground. So I, I sort of oversaturate things so they look a little bit off. Kind of interested in that, you know, the especially like the early colour photographs. That that kind of I like to try and bring that into the painting where they're just a little bit odd looking in terms of saturation. They're exaggerated. Do you ever see the guy who took all the photographs of Palm Beach, Florida, all that in the sixties? Was German photographer and he used to bring out almost golden look in people's faces and it was to sell the American dream of Florida. Yeah. And then he goes back 30 years later and the reality is like all the people in the streets and stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure. I may have seen them, but there, there was quite a few people who became interested in that type of work, wasn't there? Yeah, is that Ansel Adams did some stuff like that. I'm not sure if I've seen those, but they sound beautiful. Yeah. Um, Paul and Larry, you're enjoying yourselves too much. All right. we're, we're, enjoying, we're enjoying the... Um, the, the wonderful things to see. Okay, I um, saw Andy Luke. He's on his rounds. Um, Andy, is the comic still? Is the comic the, exhibition still on? Um, yes, it's still on around the Catalyst uh, collection, mini comics, and um, nice, comfy seating space and coffee and wonderful. Andy uh, launched a new comic last week. It was the week four. It all just seems like it's all working into one. It was last week. Week before. Week I think. before, oh, and um, he asked me to speak at the launch on it. Um, and he did a he did a, long, he did a he's done a comic about epilepsy and growing up with epilepsy and living with epilepsy. And I have to say, ten thousand copies. How many have you got left? Um, Eight thousand five hundred. <laughs> They're free, though. They're free, they're free, and they should be Don't going out. Go. I haven't got one with me, but they should be going out. You will get one. They're going all around the province in the next couple of no, weeks. Well, Andy's on the so he's a member. There are other places where the guy did the, the comic, because I got invited to a comic book meet-up, which was last night or something. Is it tonight? You're up to late night art. First Thursday in every month at Cloth Air. At nine, usually, is it? Yeah. Good mix of comics, creators, professionals, hobbyists, and people who just like reading and talking about comics. And does, does he drag you along to all these things? No, I would categorise myself in the latter category there. I like to uh, read and. Uh, what was that? Casual reader. Casual reader. Casual reader. Casual reader. Casual reader. Okay. And you, uh, I know you like late night art because I always see you out and about. This is a section of the second one, this is Richard's first. And yes, you've never been before, where have you been so far? At home, on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one? Yeah. All right, well, no, you have to um, keep going. Queen Street, down, down the road. Print workshop, Golden Thread. Um, the engine room is going to be very good tonight as well. Engine room, not the engine room is. It's in Newton Large Road. Heroes, pricks and villains, not necessarily in that order. 150 portraits and you have to guess who's the hero, who's the prick and who's the villain. I was looking at that, that looks quite good. I don't have a film for 
Yeah, they usually, yeah, they usually are by a month. No, that's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you.